This is Thayer and Chandler's Omni 4000 airbrush. Gravity feed. Double action. With cutaway handle. It's got a lovely smooth trigger action. Comes with a plastic paint cup lid. Quite a large reservoir for the for the paint. Which is very easy to clean, there's nowhere for the paint to hide at the bottom. Also got a protective cover at the front made of rubber, which will just stop your airbrush getting knocked when not in use. It's got a single tip needle configuration for really tight work or general background spraying. And it's just a really nice brush for all round use. Nice chrome finish, well machined parts. So now I'll just show you how to take it to pieces and put it back together again. Okay, to begin with, we're going to remove the handle. Now we can see the needle chuck. Just undo that slightly. And then we're going to remove the needle. Just pull it straight out. Now we can take off the chuck. Next it's unscrewing the uh, spring tensioner. Just keep your thumb on the trigger so that nothing drops out while you're doing this. All the way out. There you can see the spring. So now it's the spring guide which comes out with the rocker lever attached. It's attached with a small pin. Now we just pull the trigger up. Nothing to the trigger, just a dimple on the bottom that engages with the air valve. Now we're going to turn the airbrush round, take off the air cap. This can fit on both ways doesn't matter which way you put it on. Nozzle cap now, straight off. You don't need any tools for this airbrush. Now you can see the tip of the nozzle. OK, the nozzle retainer. Take that off. And there we've got the tip. Quite a large tip but it just sits self-centering in the uh, airbrush body and that's as far as you need to go ok what we're going to do now is replace all the components so we'll turn to the front of the airbrush and we'll sit the tip in the body next we'll put the tip retainer on just make sure nothing gets cross threaded you're just doing this with finger tight but just make sure it is quite tight now we've got the nozzle cap just finger tight again and then we've got the reverser guard air cap just to go on. I'll put it this way around for now. Now moving to the back of the airbrush. We're just going to sit the trigger in the body. Just make sure it sits on top of the air valve. And now we've got the spring guide with the attached rocker lever. Just sit it up against the back of the trigger, make sure it goes in the slot correctly. And now it's the spring, just slide that over. 
and the spring tensioner just screwed in a couple of times now we're just going to push the trigger back so that everything lines up correctly and screw the tensioner probably halfway enough so that you can get the handle on to begin with now we're going to insert the needle just prefer to leave the, the chucking nut off at this point because you can see the back of the spring guide easier you won't damage the needle so push the needle in until you just feel it touch the nozzle and that's enough now we're going to screw the needle chuck on and just nip it up enough to securely grip the needle and next it's on with the handle and now it's just time to test the trigger just make sure everything lines up and you're ready to go ok this is the reverser guard air cap that I was talking about if you take it off put it the opposite way around it leaves the needle exposed for close work and easy cleaning for removing tip dry you won't lose it either On the other way around it protects the tip of the needle from getting bent or damaged but it's still open enough so that you can perhaps get a q-tip in or a paintbrush if you do need to clean it with any solvents or anything. It's a very good idea and you won't lose the cap anymore.